gonna see. Uh, outfit of the day before I take this off. Um, I just got back from rehearsal, so I'm sorry I've been gone. It's been very busy. I've had rehearsal every single day since Tuesday. Um, today's Friday. So um, I've just been driving in and out of Boston and um, trying to learn music. <laughs> um, so today, hi Clover. So like I mentioned, we have a concert on Sunday, um, but today we needed to rehearse for the church service that is still happening on Sunday morning. And so that's a completely different uh, repertoire. So there is a Bach cantata we're doing 186 um, on Sunday morning and we're doing 65 on Sunday afternoon. So we're doing two cantatas and then another Britain. Um, and it's gonna be so beautiful um, again. You can watch it online, live, at four o'clock this Sunday. Um, and you can watch the church service too if you wanna listen to the cantata. Um, the cantata for Sunday morning is so beautiful. The chorus, the opening chorus is such a good sing. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it, I love it. And we're doing a piece by Sally Beamish um, and a Talos piece, but we do that all the time. So anyway. I, and it's a beautiful day in Boston. Beautiful day, sun is out. It's like 50 degrees. Um, so I didn't really need to wear like all this like wool, but I have it on anyway. So hello, it's been a few days. So I think I'm probably gonna put this up tomorrow just so I don't feel pressure to like do all the editing and crazy and I can get back into the regular routine. Um, but it's been, I've been good. I hope you've been good. I really have been enjoying this week of just like music making and having a good and having a good time and just soaking it all in, you know? Hopefully I stay well. I have been like praying, nutty potting, you know, burning sage, doing all the things, trying to stay well, because right, everybody has COVID right now and it's like not great. So we're just trying to keep it together. The butcher box is here. So let's unbox it together and see what proteins came. Well, I know what proteins are in there because I ordered them, but I'll show them to you. Again, I'm not sponsored by butcher box. I really wish I was. Um, do I have an affiliate code? I have like a, not an affiliate code, but it's like a share, like a share, share like share the love link. I think I have like five of them. So if you want to try Butcher Box, like if you're a vegan, don't don't do it. It's not for you. But if you are an omnivore, omnivore or carnivore, and you eat everything. Um, check it out. I have. I'm so excited when it comes every month. I'm not even joking. Like I love it. I gotta be careful because they print my address on the inside. There, so let's just. Uh, no, they didn't do it this time. Okay, maybe it's on. Yeah, it's on there. Sneak. I also printed what I ordered in there, so, but I know what I ordered. I know what's in here. So, this month, we have, well, the dry ice. The dry ice is in here. They sent it with dry ice, so it'll come, like, too cold. Um, first thing, oh, I forgot, I almost forgot. The first thing that we got is jerky bites for Bud Bud. Oh, sorry, Clover. These are for dogs. These are dog treats. So, we got beef and sweet potato recipe jerky bites um, made with 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef, pasture-raised, raised with no antibiotics or added hormones. And it is for Clover, so I got them a little, some little jerky bites, that's so cute. I'm gonna turn on the lights. And then we got, what is this? Oh, is this like the chicken? This is chicken wings, chicken wing sections. Um, so I got, I think, one pack of chicken wings. And I'm trying, these are the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Just trying them, just to see what I think. I think with the boneless thighs, I'll be able to make like, I don't know, like chicken tikka masala or something. Um, and then I got uh, a boneless, skinless chicken breast, um, two to three in a package. I don't really like boneless, skinless chicken things, but like, I don't know, just for fun. And these look like the regular chicken thighs. Yeah, these are the bone-in chicken thighs that are so yummy and I've eaten them all. Then I got um, Alaskan cod. So we got a bag of fish. Fish, always get the fish. Um, oh, then I also got some bone broth for Clover. So this is, I think this is beef bone broth? Yeah, 
water, beef, bones, and carrots. That's it. So got him some bone broth, so I put it with his food. He might love that. And then we have, these are ribeyes, right? Ribeyes? Yeah, these are ribeyes. I think I got two. Yeah, I got two things of, oh no, this is strip loin. <laughs> okay, I got one thing of uh, ribeyes and one thing of strip loin. And then I have bacon, because <laughs> I get bacon every month. So that's all this in my butcher box. So we'll just put this away in the basement and I will uh, come back at you later. I'm gonna change my clothes before I put this in the, in the freezer. <laughs> Hello. So it's Saturday morning. We're back in the garage, as you can see. Um, this time it's paid for, so good. Uh, it has started, they're dropping like flies. I didn't vlog the, for the rest of the day yesterday, um, but my friend, uh, my one of my soprano, soprano friends is sick. She got, she got the Rona and I have to fill in for her tonight. So we've got rehearsal this morning for the gig that we're doing tomorrow. And then tonight we're filling in for the friend. And then tomorrow we got the church gig and then afterward we got the concert so it started everyone's sick it's a disaster they're trying to replace somebody for the gig today uh for um for tomorrow who was supposed to be at rehearsal it's please say a prayer for the boston community say a prayer for the boston music community that we all that's all good i see the violinist i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go we're gonna go let's let's go let's go, let's go. first so um I'm up and I don't think I'm gonna need to warm up a particularly large amount of time um but I just get up early anyway so I'm just watching Annika's life on YouTube and drink some coffee but we've got a long day ahead of us so I'm going to I've been wearing my hair like this for like six days okay we are dressed we are ready to go the dress code is black with a little bit of like jewel tone so i was like a little turquoise moment here i have a dress on so um with like a little belt and it's time to make a cappuccino so let's go to the coffee bar by the way the name for the coffee bar i don't i feel like should be the clover bean i think that'd be cute I think that was suggested in the comments. I like the clover bean. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I did watch a video on how to make latte art and I made a little heart on my like first attempt. It doesn't look great. I'll put a picture of it here and there's a bloop in the corner cause I just poured the rest of the milk in. But with some practice, I think I can get good at it. Um, it's really hard to do it in these cups though because they don't have a very wide mouth. They're like, big on the bottom but like small on the top and you can't really get in so um that's unfortunate but um i can do it in a really shallow cup hi clover i'm gonna play with clover a little bit in my office before i leave because he's like bored oh my god look how cute he is you are so freaking cute cutie butt all right there she is caramel cappuccino because i put some caramel flavor in it I did kind of try to make a heart in here and it like, it, it, I really just need like a big opening to get in there with the milk. But um, unfortunately we're now out of coffee and we're also out of milk. So this is, this is it. I guess if I want another one, I'm gonna have to get it on the road.
welcome back to the vlog. I am I'm wearing a I'm wearing like a napkin as a bib. Um, it's got some of my makeup on it, as you can see, because I'm dressed for a concert. I have in my lap um, a lamb meatball shakshuka with lebna and I guess some like hot peppers in there um, because I, again, just like every like vlog every day series, I am stuck in town all day in Back Bay. So I'm eating in my car and I'm going to edit in my car today's video that has to go up in, well, I have a few hours, but I have to be back at church at 3.30, 3 o'clock. I don't know. Um, he said like before four, but like concert starts at four. So like, I'm not going to be there at four. So anyway, um, here's my, here's my lunch. Can you see it? I'm not going to move it, but like I have shakshuka. I don't know where the egg is. It's there. I can't really tell. It's probably going to be delicious. I'm very excited. Whoops. Got some very exciting, um, plastic silverware from Tate. So we're going to eat this and I'm going to watch some videos and I'll see you later. All right. I'm done editing. I didn't do any editing. I talked in this, in today's video for like 15 minutes and I didn't really take that many pauses. So I didn't edit anything out of the video except for the very last two seconds. <laughs> so that's the first time that's ever happened in my entire career on YouTube. Like I've never just sat and talked to camera and just published that. I've always like stopped and said, oh, what I said was stupid. I'll start saying it again. But no, that's never happened. So um, I, we have a milestone. It's um, exporting right now. I think it's got, well, I don't know how much longer it's got, but I have to confess something. I have a new celebrity. Okay, not a celebrity, but maybe celebrity crush. And my husband, don't, Eve, do not watch this vlog you will don't watch just click out now andrew huberman is my new light crush can we discuss just for a second i'm being a hundred percent serious we love a man in science we love a man who takes care of himself we love a man who seems to be a good person and we love a man who's well spoken and Last but not least, easy on the eyes. I would be lying if I, like, YouTube kept recommending it to me, and I'm like, no, I don't want to watch the bearded man talk about autism for three hours. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You want to listen to him talk about ADHD? You want to listen to him talk about happiness? You want to listen to him talking about bipolar? You want to listen to him talking about food and nutrition? You want to listen to him talk about anything? because he's the man. The lecture that got me in, what was the lecture that got me in? Oh, the alcohol one got me, got me, got me. It was two hours, two hours. And I recommend, if you like to drink every now and again, or if you drink a lot, don't watch it, you'll be upset. Um, or maybe if you do, watch it. And it made me just not wanna do it anymore. Not, not at all. I'm just like, after watching that two hour thing, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm good. I've had 46 years, not, okay, listen, not 46 years of alcohol consumption, but like a good 20 something years. And I think I'm all set, which is weird. But I mean, we're having a health glow up in 2023 anyway. So like, why not pile this onto the things? Like we already, like are taking off excess we're getting in shape like my biceps be sore right now um and we're cutting we we cut the drinking level and now all together gone i say a win we'll see how i do at my physical which is tuesday provided we stay healthy and can we just talk about that for a second the paranoia I am feeling right now about getting the Rona is high. Like we're not taught like le threat level red, threat level high. Like we are like on alert because 
everyone has COVID right now. I'm not even exaggerating. My whole Facebook page is soprano needed, alto needed, tenor needed, bass needed, because everyone is sick and I am paranoid. We had a couple of people drop out for today's performance. We had some shifty shift. We even had, I'm not, I'm not lying. We had a soprano sing alto today because our alto is sick. And I'm so paranoid about getting sick. So the masks are back when we're in public spaces. It's horrible. Um, and I have a recording session on Wednesday for my website with my pianist who I'm very excited about having that happen, but I'm super scared that I'm gonna get sick. There are people coughing all around me. And I just wanna hold on <laughs> till after my recording sessions. I think I'm gonna book two of them because I have eight arias that I'm planning to record, right? So in my last like vlog, I think you saw me talking with my voice teacher about the aria selection arias and songs and she was like if you have eight you'll be lucky to get five that you can use like three of them you might just like not sound good so we're I'm just trying to like get it done I don't need to like have be sick and then have to get over it and then get back into shape that's not the vibe okay so say a prayer for the Boston music scene because we're hurting right now I've gotten emails from people can you come sing I'm sick um and it's, I mean, it's good for the, for the financial gains for the people who are well, but sad for all of us as a, as a singing nation. Um, so the respiratory viruses can stay where they're stay. I just don't, I don't need that in my life right now. I'm, how did we go from Andrew Huberman to like talking about the Rona? I don't know. But anyway, I've been, th I'm sorry if you can hear the cars driving by. I'm, I'm like on Berkeley and there's just, Sturrow Drive is that way. And so like, this is very busy. Um, but you know, I like sitting in my car. It's like the cafe with no people. And because I am able to tether to my phone's internet, I have wireless. So like, why do I need to be in a cafe with like people? I don't want to be around people right now. <laughs> you know, in saying that, I'm like half joking. Um, I think one of the most important things after like being out of like um, coronavirus isolation, like when we weren't, we weren't going out and seeing people that, I mean, the, okay, the isolation was okay for me, right? Because I'm very introverted. I, I um, enjoy my own solitude. Um, I had Eve. And I didn't mind like not going out and being out, you know, with crowds and stuff. And I had the internet, I was okay. But for the most part, I found that coming back out and singing with people again, making music with people again, and sort of connecting on a face to face, looking in people's eyes, touching people's shoulders, that is very valuable connection. And to that, even the most introverted person, and I do think I'm, I'm very introverted. I do, again, enjoy my own solitude. I have a very, um, I have a lot of like acquaintances, people I know, but I have a very small selection of like close friends who know me very well. And we make a point to see each other. We try to do it once a month. We haven't been the best about it in the last few months, uh, but we try to do it once a month where we actually get together in person and connect and make sure we're, we're all okay. And um, I do lead a very like sex in the city kind of relationship with like these ladies who I've known since graduate school. It's kind of the best. Like my besties are like, and it is like a sex in the city like situation. Like there's three of them so there's four of us all together and they're all fabulous and we all know each other very well and we make a point to get together, talk about things, support each other, um, talk each other through things that are going on in our lives, update each other on you know whatever's going on. And that connection is really important. 
but even the connections I make with colleagues who aren't my close friends, but who are people I sing with um, often, um, there is a, a, a wonderful soprano who is absolutely gorgeously fabulous, who I sing with all the time in, in like a number of ensembles. And we sit next to each other all the time. And I love seeing her every week or twice a week or three times a week. And that connection is not like a close intimate connection, but it is in a way. And it it's very important that I think that we get back to making those connections because I feel like during COVID, I feel like there were a lot of Zoom meetings and it just didn't hit the same. <laughs> so, um, but I will say that there is something to be said about someone talking to you via camera like I am right now. Sometimes when I'm home alone and I'm um, feeling, having a sad moment or feeling kind of not the confident not, comp not, not feeling very confident. I don't know what I'm saying. I love sort of seeing my friends online, even if they're not, they don't know I exist, right? I just write a comment in the YouTube comment section. And that's also valuable, but in a different way. Um, and so I just thought I would talk about it. It's just something I've been thinking about because I've been with my colleagues all week and in person and all week, even though I felt really um, bad, I did feel really bad about not posting. Like, I felt really bad. But even though I was having those feelings about feeling bad, feeling guilty, and I was tired, I was so tired, um, those hours that I got to spend with my colleagues making gorgeous music and just kind of joking around and like doing our best and um, appreciating the gorgeousness of what was happening was really special and um, I again talk about like my goals for next year and you know well I'll make a whole video on this like my goals for 2024 is a lot of my goals because I've found myself doing that a little more in the past few months I want to do that so much more like I want to do it so much more and even if it means that like I don't get to post as much on YouTube I think it's okay or maybe I should maybe shift my planning or I don't know but the past few months that I've been able to like make really amazing music and have fun with colleagues and really learn stuff and really apply myself and work really hard and just found I, f I feel like I found my way a little bit in terms of like kind of sealing up the cracks. I'm not perfect. I'm really far away from that. I don't think I'll ever be there, but I feel like I made some steps and that's rewarding. So um, I'm going to finish posting my video. I don't have a thumbnail or anything, but I'm excited for the concert in three hours. So I don't know if I'm going to sit in my car for three hours, honestly. I mean, I could. The temperature's not too bad outside. It's like, it's probably like, it feels like 40 some degrees. So I don't have my car in right now and it's warm enough for me to be without my coat, just with my little scarfy scarf. We're supposed to, we're wearing all black with jewel tones so this is what I selected I think this was from the old navy she's cheap but I think she's giving like diva right I don't, I don't know <laughs> anyway I will get back to you maybe we'll go walking around Boston a bit because it's not a bad day I think there's gonna be some weather event I got a little warning on my phone earlier this morning that there's going to be some weather thing happening, but not until 5 p.m. And we'll be all, we'll be inside by then. So um, maybe we'll go to like, we'll just walk down the street. I'll show you Commonwealth Avenue during the day because you guys don't get to look at it <laughs> during the day. And um, we'll go and have some fun. But for now, I'm going to finish working. I think I'm going to edit some more, some other stuff. 
and I'll see you later. Thanks for coming to my talk. Okay, we are on the street. So, word on the street, and I heard this in my car, but I wasn't sure. This is a weird angle. Is that there's a big protest in Boston Common, which is really close. Should we check it out? I don't know, maybe not. I am very nosy, I have to say. Anyway, look, we're on Commonwealth Avenue. Look at the beautiful architecture. Look at how pretty. We love, oh my God, we love, we stand. So the, some of these buildings are homes and some of them belong to organizations. I think this one belongs to an organization. What does that say? Some club of Boston. I don't know what that is, but the decorations are cute. And um, wait, what does it say? The what club? The college club. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like I can't afford to go in there. Anyway, um, so here is Commonwealth Avenue. Um, so you can see some of these are definitely like homes, like they're expensive condos. And I, you know, personally, okay, I would love to live in this neighborhood. I think it's so pretty, um, but parking is definitely an issue. Like you have street parking and yes, this turns into resident parking like at night and stuff but there's some parking behind the buildings, but not that much. So you can't really live here and have a car and expect to put it somewhere all the time, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, the parking is an issue, but in the middle, there's a little median and across, you can see there's another set of beautiful brownstones. Look at how pretty. Is that not so pretty? It's also very clean on Commonwealth Avenue, I must say. Like, it doesn't look like this all over the city. It's definitely, um, you know, a little more upscale and clean, um, but it is quite beautiful. I do want to go, like, check out if there's something going on in the Common. The Common is across the way there. Do I want to walk across the garden and see what's going on in the Common? I don't know if I'm that nosy, but I'm definitely curious. It's not that cold today. It feels like... I don't know, upper 40s, early 50s. Um, look at this behind me. Look at that. Is that, what? what is that very art deco? I don't know. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful, like, kind of wintry day. I don't mind December weather, I really don't. It starts to get really unpleasant in January and February. February is probably the worst because I feel like it's cold, it might snow, and it's just like gray and gross. Like it's not sunny and cold, it's like cloudy and disgusting. Um, and it's depressing, I'm not even gonna lie. March is okay, usually it's kind of sketchy, still cold, could snow. April, could snow, possible. May, May and April are usually rainy. May? things it could go either way it could be like nice or it could snow <laughs> okay now we're getting into like the nice parts of the commercial area of back bay so we're leaving residential and we're getting into well i mean people live here but not that many so here is the carlton house i believe this is a hotel no is this condos i don't know it might be. And then this is the Newberry Hotel. Quite, quite fancy, quite fancy. Oh, you're a video lady? I am a video lady. Do you want to be on video? What's your name? Eric. Eric. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Eric. Pleasure, pleasure. How long have you been working here? Oh, 100 years. 100, I don't believe that. <laughs> here we've got Newberry Street, which is fancy. We've got a Tiffany's right here. Oh my gosh, look at the diamonds, the deal moms. And then we've got a lot of high-end stores. So, of course, you got the Tiffany's. Then you got the Rolex down there. You got uh, Bulgari. Is that what it's called? Bul 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 <laughs> Bulgari. There is the Cartier store down there, which is wrapped up. Um, I don't know what Zenya is, but it looks fancy. And then um, there's Contessa. That's a restaurant. I've actually eaten there. It's really nice. <laughs> that guy there was a guy like a valet guy just yelling at another guy in the car and he said what's wrong with your brain move and I am dead I'm deceased whatever this store is this uh, 
Rimawa, Rim, Rimoa store is. It was a protest there, I think a, like a couple nights ago, because they are selling fur and there was like an anti-fur protest. And here's some footage from it. I think I took some footage. done look at behind me look look I'm exhausted by the way like I'm not even gonna front like I'm not tired I'm super tired I've been up since like 5 45 I sang two cantatas three cantatas <laughs> and like two uh and one uh, three cantatas and like three motets yeah tired but look behind me look at the tree in the window Look at that. Are you are you all feeling the holiday spirit? Are you feeling it? I almost didn't know where I parked my car. I like was so tired. I was like, what street am I on? What day is it? What time is it? Where am I? But I think I've parked here on Berkeley. So I'm gonna go right home. I don't know what we're gonna do about food, but we're gonna do something. I'm not really that hungry, but I mean, I could eat. It's one of those situations. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Look at the look. Look. Isn't that pretty? I wish I could afford to live here. I really do. Here's my car. Hello from the next day. There is what seems to be like a tropical storm outside, even though it doesn't look like the camera is making it look like it's nice and bright and sunny, but it's not. Uh, that is the tricks of the ISO and like uh, aperture. So. Um, I don't want to go outside, <laughs> but I have a doctor's appointment today, so we're going to venture outside. I have to go to Whole Foods too. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog here. Last night, um, was wonderful, but the entire, the entirety of the day was exhausting. But I had a therapy session this morning and I was telling my therapist that it was like exhausting yet very fulfilling. So it's like a good kind of exhausting and let's hope that I stay well for another few days because I have a recording session on Wednesday morning afternoon and one of our one somebody from the orchestra actually had to drop out yesterday because they hadn't they now have COVID so like girl it is it's ugly out there we're, we're like hoping for the best I feel okay this morning so we'll see I had to wash my hair but I do I have a bonnet on because like it's again it's like a tropical storm outside i just i have no bandwidth so this is the amount of hair that's allowed to be out right now so i'm gonna recover from the insanity that was last week thank you for those of you who tuned in by the way um i do think the performance is going to be available to watch but i don't know the details i believe until mid January, but I don't know the details. So if you want to watch the recording, um, I guess it's available. I will do my best to put a link down below. Um, but as far as I know, they haven't updated it yet. As of now, it's like almost noon where I am. It's, uh, yeah, it's about noon. Um, so we're going to do a little recovery today. I probably should clean the house a little bit, but we'll see how much I get done. So I hopefully will be putting some footage together from the last few weeks or days or whatever into this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.